All right, Kevin Hedger here, the uh, new coach in Wyoming, four years, but not really. Uh, Kevin, you've been uh, kind of at the helm of the ship for a little while now, but uh, the guy that you're replacing is absolutely a legend in Wyoming County, probably the state of West Virginia. If he's not, he should be. Ron Chief Mayu, how tough is it going to be for you to, to replace a guy who started this program in 1972? Right. You, you're not going to – you can't replace somebody like Coach Mayhew. Uh, he started the senior league program in 1972 at Pymel and then started the high school program at the high school in 74 when I was a freshman. Uh, so he's you were been, on his first team. Yeah, he's been on. He's been a part of my life for a long time. And, uh, just hope to keep it going a little bit. Well, is there some pride then in that fact that you, you were on his first baseball right. team at Pymel High School? Yeah, and both of my boys played for him. Uh, uh, he, he's he's done a lot for a lot of kids in this county. What's uh, if you, what what does he mean to you? I mean, just the fact that he's been that, that right. your coach. You you, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you played on that first yeah. team. I mean, well, he was a uh, he he was a uh, um, he took a lot of interest from in me when I was when I was twelve thirteen years old. Uh, my my I didn't have a dad that. Uh, and, and he was kind of a little bit took part of that, uh, right. and uh, he'd haul us around everywhere, to play ball at senior league. He'd haul four or five of us to a field, and then go back and get the rest of them. It wasn't. I don't remember a lot of parents going to games. And uh, I coached football with him at Pineville. Uh, I, I when I was uh, doing my student teaching, I was his JV coach for one year years ago. So he's been a big part of my life. So everything that he did, and, and like I said, you've kind of been um, doing a lot of the head coaching duties for the last uh, few seasons. Yeah. Chief hasn't been in um, good health. That's some health lately. issues, right. Uh, so, yeah, he had some health issues. Uh, um, you expect to continue everything, the things you've learned from him right. in 74 all the way up. I mean, he's a guy who uh, knows baseball. Probably right, forgot a lot right. more than most of us know, but... he. Uh, the, the thing that will be hard for us now is uh, is dealing with pitchers because that was his baby. We didn't he, he he didn't really allow us to do a lot with pitchers and stuff right. like that. He with hitting and fielding and stuff like that. But so uh, that'll be a that'll be a big change for me. Have to start dealing with. Is it pretty emotional talking about him? Oh, it is. It is. It is. It was. Because uh, it seems like uh, it is now. Uh, I hate to see him in the. Uh, shape he's in. I talked to him just the other day and hopefully maybe he can come down and still help a little bit with uh, with the team next year. I mean, he, he's, he talked like he would do that if, right. if it was possible. I think his life's all been baseball, oh, it? pretty boy. much. Um, he just liked coaching. He's coached everything. Well, yeah. I, he probably, people don't know this, he, he started the girls basketball team up at Pineville and, and <laughs> Lord, I, I bet he's probably won 300 girls basketball games. He's one up close to a thousand baseball. Close I think only the guy at Jefferson is the only guy yep. ahead of him in the state. Right, right. Um, Lowry. So, yep. um, what are your uh, expectations moving forward? I mean, it's hard. You know, it's not the same as '74 when Keith started. When you started, right. um, things are different now. What are your your expectations moving forward? Well, we had our first program? losing season last year, and that left kind of bad taste in our mouth. And, uh, is the first one in school history? First one in school history. I think we went 11 and 12. Uh, right. But we're just hoping to get a few a few more athletes out that didn't play last year. If we can get those guys out with what we've got coming back, I think we'll be in pretty good shape next year. I don't know if you can answer this or not, but I'll ask. Do um, you think they should do something in, uh, to honor oh, Chief, like naming the field after him or something uh, like that? You know, to be politically correct, I, I just – Nobody's going to give up 50 years of their life. I mean, how many times does that come around? A, guy, a guy's coached a sport in your county for 50 years. Uh, I don't know who, if they don't name that field after him, I don't know who in the world they would could name it after him. I just, do you as a head coach plan to do some stuff for him next year? I would hope so. You? We'd like to, you know, we didn't get, we were, we were trying to do it last year, get our state runner-up team from, uh, Maybe maybe all of them. We had one in I'm gonna say 2000, uh, 2011. We were state runners out, and we were state champs in 2012. So we're gonna try to do something right. for 
for for all those guys next year. Are you excited to take over? As, I, mean, I am. I am. I don't I know am. how different it'll be. Uh, uh, it'll be different just not having him there. I mean, he's constant. He just uh, over over twenty seven years. Even with his health problems, he showed oh, up. Lord, I mean, he was there, and, and he would stay. You know, if some kid wanted to hit till midnight, he would. He'd stay there. A lot there. of coaches come in and they want to do their own thing, but your own thing seems to be the same things that Chief did. Is well, this a little bit different? Yeah. Are there any things you want to do that maybe you well, wouldn't I mean, have done, or is it just going to really stay uh, the same? Baseball is pretty simple. You throw it, you hit it, you <laughs> catch it. I mean, I mean, there's there may be some different techniques here and there. Now it seems like you know he taught more contact stuff. Now kids are. Trying to you know, being taught home run swings, swinging up a little bit, and he was more of a flat guy. You? He was. Well, I like home runs. I like that. But you know, <laughs> we we lost Howard, who hit eight last year, so we, we got some yeah, kids Jacob coming Howard back. He's a really great great player for you. Yeah. Um, you do have some guys back. Your I would assume that your expectations are to get back to on the winning side oh, of yeah, the ledger, yeah, yeah. if not contend right. uh, in this region. Yeah. I mean, we played some good games last year. We we played uh, Bluefield pretty tough there, even the last game, and then it got away from us a little bit at the end. Uh, uh, we beat Independence. We competed with them the first game that we played them, and then we beat them the second game. So, uh, you're a Pineville guy, right? Um, Pineville Little League doing some big things. You hope yep. to get some of them kids. Oh on yeah. There? Well, my grandson, he was he was uh, he's a nine year old, uh, and that's a good group of kids that got to go to the state tournament. There's a lot of good kids, and they and those kids play multiple sports. Uh, I think that's at school our size now, which we're pretty small now. We need kids that are playing one more more than one sport. We need our athletes out for football, basketball, and baseball. We need them out for everything. Like Kevin, I appreciate it, and good right. luck with the the program. I know it's in, in good hands. Would you? Right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you.